so we've done the look and see portion and we've done the, ju the judge portion from the book of Judges. And now we're going to do the act. But to set a perspective for you, I want to encourage you to listen to this presentation that was offered by the actor, Chris Pratt, who has been in um, uh, the, the, uh, the Guardians, uh, Guardians of the Universe. It's a Marvel movie, but he's been in a bunch of other things too. Two years back, Chris Pratt won a Generations Award from MTV. Generations is like, you know, um, kind of like an all-timer kind of award. He gave a memorable speech that offered nine rules of life. Some of them are silly, and some involve a little bit of gross bathroom humor, so you're welcome. But others are about a way of sharing faith. Okay, so I got caught here. Um, I tried to include a, uh, an uploaded video from, a, from YouTube from the MTV Awards, and uh, and then I got flagged by YouTube. So I'm sorry, learned my lesson. So I'm now including my synopsis. So if you want to see the video, um, go to YouTube and type in Chris Pratt uh, Generations Award um, Nine Lessons, and you should be able to find it. But please, you know, parents and and friends and family, please be advised. There's a little bathroom humor. It's middle school bathroom humor, but it's still bathroom humor and just wanted you to know, don't be surprised. Okay. The rules that I wanted to pay attention to that Chris Pratt mentioned, he's got nine rules and four of them are related to God. And those four rules are be careful with your soul. You only get one. You want to protect it and you want to be wise about how you use it and the choices that you make and how they impact your soul and they impact your spirit. That's rule two. Rule six. Chris Pratt says, God is real. God loves you. God wants the best for you. Believe that. Okay? So that's a testimony you don't hear much from, you know, anybody. You know, there's, there's three different gods there. God is real. God loves you. God wants the best for you. Believe that. If rule six is true, then rule eight is important as well, too. Rule eight is learn to pray. Be able to communicate with your God. Be able to communicate with God and understand what God's asking of you and what God hopes and dreams for you. And then rule number nine is it pretty much how, you know, because you believe in God, how you might interact with, their, with other people. And that would be rule number nine. No one is perfect. Except that a higher power, a powerful force made you that way. You're not perfect and neither is everybody else. I should increase your level of patience and understanding for other people and for yourself. You're not perfect. The powerful force, God, yeah, probably is. Careful with your soul, too. God is real. God loves you. God wants the best for you. Believe that. Six, learn to pray. And then nine, nobody is perfect except the power force made you that way. So, no, I'm not perfect. So, I've now cleaned up my issue with the video. So, and I feel better about it. Thank you. We're inviting you to be brave here. And we're inviting you to consider how you might share messages like Chris Pratt did, about how you might share the word about rule two. Rule two, be careful with your soul. Or rule six, God is real. God loves you. God wants the best for you. Believe that. Or rule eight. Rule eight. Learn how to pray. Take an opportunity and figure it out and learn how to pray and communicate with God. And then finally, rule nine. Nobody's perfect. But accept as a powerful force in the world that made you who you are and made you that way. We learn that if you have a plan, like Deborah, it's easy to be brave about it. I invite each person who's watching this with you to make a plan about sharing one of these rules. Be careful with your soul. God is real. God wants the best for you. Learn to pray. Nobody's perfect. Make a plan about how to share that, this rule 
in a loving and generous way to other people. And then encourage and support and pray for one another to have the courage to implement that. Thanks.